Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Game on. We just keep on gaming on. I'm Lucky, and thanks for joining me again for another live stream of Dragon's Dogma 2. So, <clears throat> we're turning these first couple live streams into our Let's Play series. So it'll come a point right about 30, 45 minutes where I'll make a little cut. I'll say, hey, we'll see you next time, but we're just gonna keep playing for hours tonight, guys. We're so excited about this. So the first couple hours were excellent. We started off um, <clears throat> with some kind of knight or lord calling us up to a throne and announcing us as the new king. And then a voice spoke to us and we ended up in a dungeon after that. Blacked out, woke up in a dungeon and we chose our, pa our pawn. <clears throat> Excuse me, not our pawn, but our main character. <clears throat> and we chose the one that we created in the character creator, Elizabeth. Um, then we were attacked by a Medusa in the mining camp slash prison dungeon place where we're a pawn and <clears throat> we were stuck. Then we beat her, jumped off a cliff, escaped, rode a griffin, the griffin got shot down and now we're in this place. Um, I don't know any of the town's names or anything like that yet. But Vermundus, Verundus is the name of this world that we're in. Supposedly it's four times as big as Granis. So let's get back into it and see where we're at with the main story, guys. Also, I was trying to find my DLC content. Come to find out there's been a lot of problems with people trying to get their DLC content. Not DLC, but the bonus pack, the adventurer's boon in this or whatever. Because I paid the extra money. <clears throat> I figured, oh, well, might as well I never do it, but I'll do it for the channel, you know? And I didn't end up getting it, and a lot of people didn't get it either. I was just adjusting some settings in here before we do anything. So let's go back to our last save and see if we can go and get our items. It's supposed to be some cool weapons and some other stuff, a cool ring. Um, and it was the Adventurer's Boon Pack. It was the best one I could get. It cost like a total of like $86 after tax, guys. Hmm. And it's supposed to be right at this inn. So you get to the Border Watch Outpost right here where we're at. And you're supposed to... Gosh, it looks so good, though. Oh my gosh, the game looks good. You're supposed to be able to go up right to him. To spare if you're looking for lodgings. Yeah. And if you'd like to change your vocation. <clears throat> so that's cool. You can change your vocation right away. Before, uh, you have to wait till you went to Grand Soren to change your vocation. Which was a whole, I don't know, couple hours worth of questing and stuff. Anyways, we're supposed to be able to have it right here in our storage. But obviously we don't have it. And so someone told me that you restart your PlayStation 5 and it'll pop up in there, but it definitely hasn't. So let's see if resting one time, even though it's going to cost 3,000 gold, or 1,000 gold, I've only got 3,000, is really expensive. And we'll see if this does it. Travel together for a day and a night. I got a Wakestone Shard. Your pawn has returned from beyond the rift. Oh, cool. I only accompanied this Arisen for a short time. The Arisen achieved little, though not for want of trying. Our realms may be alike, but our values are very different. Strange. He's got a travel log of his thoughts on his time with the other Arisen. Isn't that cool? Rating received. One thumbs up. All right. Well, we'll consider that a like. We got a like. Realm Crystals received 15. Pawn Quest traveled together for a day and night. Goblin Horn. The severed horn of a goblin can be used to enhance equipment. Pawn traveled with Steve. Let's view Steve's profile for a minute here. Don't cry, baby. Cool. That's cool that you can reach out directly to him just like that. That makes the real feel a community. Let us just say that not all arisen are quite like you, Master. <laughs> That's really cool. So before he would never really say something like that. There's so much personality and depth to it. And ready for a new day. Off we go then. Yeah, but I still didn't I get you, but I I am attentive and loyal and prefer to remain by your side. In battle, I shall follow your lead and prioritize support. Cool, but no thank you. Yeah, so now we should be able to go right in here, and it should be in our storage. Nope. Well, that's a bummer, guys. We didn't get it. So, we're just starting out raw. That's okay. Now, 
Let's move on. We'll worry about that stuff later. I'll figure out what I gotta do. We ought to put it to good use. Man, the fighting in this is superb. Can we knock the brazier over? No. Can we jump on the roof of this? Oh, we sure can. Look at that. Okay. My fate is sealed. You have no right. Oh gosh, that's right. They don't like you having your swords out. Put them away. Put them away. Okay, let's look on the map here and see where we're supposed to be going now. South. What was that quest? In in Dragon's Wake, you have heard you have heard word that the dragon attacked Melv. Make for the village and witness the aftermath yourself. As the Arisen, you bear a deep connection to the dragon. Having heard that Melv was ravaged by its attack, you make for the village in hope of regaining your lost memories. Make for Melv. You have heard that word of the dragon attacked Melv. Make for the village and witness the aftermath for yourself. So, we've lost our memories, basically, what's happened, guys. We're going to try to get it back, I assume. How's the audio so far? I think I need to turn the game audio up a little bit. One second. Seemed like it was a little bit low before. Turn it up, turn it up, turn it up, turn it up, right about there. Let's try that. Hey, that should be better quality. Now. I wonder why we've lost our memories. Do I just not have any equipment either? What is it, Master? What is it, Master? No, look as if you need my help. No, I don't. I don't, mate. Now. Is there any kind of armor I can buy and afford? Oh, do you? Are you the one I want to talk to? Felt like he was the armorer. No, he wasn't. I know she sold stuff, but I don't know if she sold weapons. Man, I just want something. Oh, I can put the chainmail on. The brigand's vest. The chainmail actually is really good. Debilitation resistance, none. Explorer's boots. I like that look a little bit. A little bit of a rogue look. Woodland boots. Apple. Grape screen wash. So... Defense on those is terrible, though. We're definitely going to take the chainmail. I don't have enough funds. Wait. Change them out? No. Okay, can I sell something? We're definitely going to get that right now, guys. We're not screwing around. We've got five goblin horns. Shoot, let's sell five of those. Those are easy to get. Now we've got enough. Now we get one six out of... Not, not even sick, guys, but... Decent set of armor, and maybe we get the mask, too. Oh, that'd be cool. Oh my gosh, Dragon Dogma 2 is going to have so many different setups and armor combinations. Okay. And we can... S no, we can't afford it right now. But we're going to buy it by selling more stuff because it looks dope. Rotten Scrag of the Beast, we'll sell you that. Yeah, okay, so stuff does rot like in the first game. So if you don't use it in time, it'll just completely rot and be useless. Fulgris Lord. It's 250. Let's sell that and then we'll be able to buy that face mask. I can't use the bow or I would totally buy the bow. Always a pleasure. Look at that. Now we got something on. I hope our coin purse isn't too much lighter. Uh well it's oh gosh, I'm sorry. Jeez, every time I bust my swords out, these guys get pissed. Let's keep moving. Oh, man. Okay. Now, our stamina does go down when we run around. We stop running. It comes back pretty quick. Because I was under the impression that your stamina doesn't go down out here in the world. Now, how do I throw it? R1. Man, she is a monster. Look at that. There's a reason these rocks are up here, too. 
specifically for us to throw down there. I don't know what that's about. So your pawns will go around and pick up items for you too, like they just picked up that green wash. Now remember in the first game there were Saurians down by the riverbed, so we have to watch out. I'm sure there's going to be some kind of critters down here. Is that one on a rock over there? We cannot expect gleaming treasures around every corner. Well, I do kind of expect gleaming treasures around every corner. That's why I play these kind of games. What's around the river bend? You know, guys, I mean, it's, it's about, oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. Can I just take a picture of that? Let me see, take a screenshot. Now, oh, can I get a screenshot of me facing? I wish you'd get the hell out of my picture. Go that way. Go that way for a minute. And get this picture here. These now. It would be a shame to forget their location when we need them most. Beautiful. Okay, now follow me. And that's the D-pad, guys, that I'm doing all those commands on. But I'm on a PlayStation 5. Some of you guys might be on an Xbox. Apologies, master. My mind was a thousand leagues away. Ooh, there's some little formation over here. See that on the map? It's like a cave or something. Or maybe it was those rocks that I was throwing. Okay. Let's try crossing right here. So I did see one thing I wanted to try to figure out. Come to think of it. So if I put my weapons away. Forms. One whom I served preferred to have beastrons for allies. There was one I, I saw for a minute it said L1 quick item. No, but there's a fish right here. A right ripen oh no, yeah, there he is. The catching fish animation is so cool. I mean that looks like almost a real fish. Hundred gold. Master, a treasure chest. Where? We shall have to find a way to reach it. Where? Oh, good job, Pawn. I would never have looked up and saw that. Most of the time I'm gaming, I'm keeping my character's head down. I'm looking at the ground a little bit. Oh, I can't climb that, huh? Okay, we're gonna have to go around. I don't know if we can go this way. I don't think so. I don't think so. The crate. I'll turn you into a pincushion. Who? Who? I don't know who they're shooting at. Nice catch. A shore fish. Okay. He just has a wooden staff. Damn. Okay, so. <clears throat> across the river, we'll go down here, we'll take a hard right and stick to the main path, it looks like. Or do we take the small branching path, guys? Hmm. This is a longer trail. But probably safer. Shorter trail, more dangerous. Oof. This is what I'm guessing, I don't really know. But also, how do I even get up there to take those roads, right? Which one am I supposed to face? Is it this way? No, that's the way I came. It is that way. Yeah, for sure. Somehow, we gotta get up there. It's not over there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so let's just travel around here a little bit and see what's upstream. <gasps> Look at treasure chest. Our little band has come to feel like a family. Five hundred and forty gold, that's big for us right now. The first dragon's dogma had a ton of treasure chests everywhere too. And so where'd the dragon even come from? But I guess that's a really good thing. They just don't tell you anything, and so it makes you feel like you have lost your memory, like, oh, what am I missing? I'm missing something here. She's huffing and puffing. Her stamina isn't very good. <clears throat> stamina recovery is great, though. 
Okay, we've got skulls, human skulls. Obvious sign of goblin dwelling somewhere about. The game just saved, so that means something's going down. Something's going down. What? There's a chest over there, too. Oh, what luck! Tis a chest! Oh. Let us hope your curiosity will be rewarded. Oh, find some rift crystals. Good job. <clears throat> you might like this, so I picked it up. I don't know if you could find rift crystals besides the DLC in the first game, the Bitter Black DLC. Eh, we're gonna die if we jump that far. We learned that in the village. Just that jump off that ladder killed us. <clears throat> Man. Okay, let's jump down here. So that's always a save point right up there, because it saved again when we went back on it. That's interesting. So there are certain points that are always save points. So how in the hell? They want me to go all the way around that way and then come back this way. Okay. That's what you want me to do. That's what we're going to do. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Goblin? Oh, yeah. That's my magic spell. The brine. Tread carefully by the water's edge. The brine lurk in the deep waters, rivers, lakes, and the sea, and will instantly consume anyone or thing that wades into their mists. If this fate befalls the arisen, they will be revived momentarily, but they are the exception. Pawns will become forfeit, and all other living creatures are met with an immediate watery depth. So we can cheese creatures in the water, but we lose our pawns, and we get reset. But it is telling us that use the water for fighting people. I really wish there was like a block parry system in this. Oh, that was kind of a. I felt like that hitbox was a little bit big. Like I shouldn't have really been able to hit that harpy like that. Wow, it's just so cool looking. Look at that move. I can't wait till I get good at using all this. Luckily, it's not too different than Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen, as far as the button layout is. Oh gosh, don't do it. Huh. We can jump across there and get that chest. You know, I thought about it. I thought about it. Oh, stability extract. Get off me. Oh no. Oh no. That's crazy. It like. I don't know how you escape that. Wake me up. <laughs> they put me right back to sleep. So I don't really have anything. Look at that harpy. Now it looks like pretty much the same model as the first game. I will say that. An improved model. Looks way cooler as far as just like detail and stuff, but it is the exact same model. We leveled up there. Seeker's token? Yeah, I remember Seeker's tokens. There are 240 of these tokens scattered across the land, hidden in all sorts of out of the way and unexpected places. Bring them to a guild hall and you will receive special rewards now and then as your collection progresses. You must leave no stone unturned nor corner of the world unexplored if you would complete your collection. Okay, we're going to get 240 of these tokens. I'm saying it right now, guys. I'm saying it. 240. Vocation ranked up. That's sick. It means we're going to go learn some new skills next time we hit the end. Real of discovery never gets old. Interesting. Whoa, gosh. I shall have to inform my own master of this. Man. So fun just climbing around. And so responsive. This is going to be a very enjoyable platforming experience, I'll tell you that. Okay, so that's Dash. Oof, we got to be careful doing that. See, that hurt us right there. Hurt us just a little bit. Uh, uh, I'm lost. Where am I at? Alright, we're going the right direction. We just gotta keep pressing forward here. Remember the Seeker's tokens. <clears throat> so I don't know who that Lord was. The, the Black Knight in the beginning. 
or Lord or whatever he was, the Duke or something like that that was calling us the new king. But I wonder who he is and how he plays into all this. And why are we riding griffins? I mean, the griffin wasn't even like trying to throw us off. You know, in the first game, as soon as you hopped on him, they are trying to toss you off. In this one, no. Now there's a worthy prize. What? If only it weren't so far away. What? I must see a chest up on the rise. Cool. Well, the pawn AI is, uh, must just be setting out a screen or a net. This is generally used as a material. Must be a certain width, you know what I mean? A certain radius around them just picks up any kind of chest. Oh, a cinnamon bark. That's a new one. Don't remember that. What's that do? Ooh, the apples. Oh, it's ripened. I bet you they rot, though. Let's use that scragger beast. Oh, that way it doesn't rot. The fish is going to rot eventually, too. Where's our cinnamon? Cinnamon bark. The fragment bark of a tall tree. The fragrant bark of a tall tree. Combine it with other materials to produce aught of use. Hmm. Okay. My weight's average. It goes up and down pretty uh, frequently, I notice. So it's very touchy. Oh, yeah. I like that. That's that Mike Tyson one-two punch. That's like a boxing move right there. The one, one, two. The kidney shot, and then the high shot. Whoa! I'm soaked in oil. I gotta be careful here. I'm a dancer. I dance through the battlefield. Whoops! That's not what I wanna do. The goblins look really cool. They're fun to fight. All right, boy, deep leveled up. <laughs> That's pretty cool how they high five. I like it. The ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. I'm heavy already. I'm already heavy. Well, let's give some stuff to uh, the other pawns here. Stability extract, a concoction of natural me a concoction of natural medicines fortified with magic. Drink it to reduce the chance of becoming afflicted with debilitations for a time. Lantern oil, withered branch, solid wood, pliant enough to serve the making of arrows. Let's just discard those. Hate to do it because we could have sold it. Hmm. What's so heavy that we're carrying? We're back down to average. I think that we just like. We can't carry anything because our encumbrance or strength or whatever it is, endurance, <clears throat> is not high enough right now. So we gotta adjust our endurance. That's going to be the first thing we do, so we can carry more weight. Oh, camping. If the Arisen has a camping kit to hand, they can pitch their tent by the remains of a campfire. Found at set spots throughout the wilderness, much like staying at an inn in town, resting at a campsite restores the party's health and stamina. It recovers the loss gauge. Adventurers who seldom return to town should be sure to keep a camping kit in their packs, lest exhaustion overwhelm them. Cool. So it's like staying at an inn out in the wild. Camping also affords the opportunity to grill meat, granting a boost to certain stats upon consumption. The finer the quality of meat, the greater the increase you can expect. Okay, so you can make buffs. Before setting up camp, it would be prudent to eliminate any foes lurking nearby. Neglecting to do so heightens the chance of an ambush while your party is at its most vulnerable. That's 
This looks like a really cool mechanic here. And a much needed one. There were so many times in the first game where you'd be out <clears throat> questing and all of a sudden it'd get dark, things would get intense, and you'd be out of health, out of stamina, out of recovery items, and just barely jumping around making it. All your pawns would die and you're just running as fast as you can to the nearest village slash safe spot. Safe spot. And so it's nice to be able to make camp. Equip skills without camping. Okay, make camp. Okay, we need a camping kit. We will get one eventually. So you can only use them at campfires. Oh, here we go. Modest camping kit. Oh, but I'm very heavy now. So we need to have one of the other guys carry this. We can't be lugging this thing around. This is equipment. We want items, I suppose, then. There it is. Did we lose one of our guys already? I thought we had four and I thought one was an archer. No one, <laughs> what? Where'd he go? I hope he didn't fall off and die. I must have missed it. Maybe we lost him in the Great Goblin War here. Those damn goblins. Always on the lookout for a Seeker's token. Man, look at how beautiful and realistic that water looks. This is crazy. Some of the best graphics I've ever seen right here. As far as the water and all that stuff is concerned. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. No. Get back up there. Get back up there. Woo. Woo. Not going down like that for their second death. Okay. Let's continue on here. Well, the stone bridge looks like something's supposed to happen here. Goodness, we're higher up than I thought. Oh man, what if we jumped? Moving, won't you? There's gonna, okay. To proceed with caution. I promise you guys, we're gonna come back and jump off this bridge later on, because it's so far down. Holy smokes! Right now, we're serious adventuring. Couldn't I climb up here? So of course we must. You're welcome to take whatever you like from my pack, Master. I'd this game auto saves a lot, I notice. I bet you we can go over there too. I hear something. There he is. Oh. We're in great goblin territory or something like that. Well, they're tough too. Whoa, what just happened there? Pawn forfeit and revival. Pawns are rendered immobile when their health falls to zero and are unable to stir from where they have fallen without aid. If you leave your pawn in a mobile state for a prolonged length of time, they become forfeit and will be forcibly removed from your party. The Arisen can attempt to revive a pawn by approaching them and touching them. If multiple pawns lie mobile in the vicinity, the Arisen can revive them simultaneously. The maximum health revived pawn will be equal to the, re to the Arisen's remaining health. Now that's different. <clears throat> you can always revive your pawns in the first one, but being able to revive them all at once and also having the same health as you is an additional difference here. Now, man, I just about died right there. Use it again and again. Where's he at? Oh no. But it's way hard. But it's way harder to revive. Oh, these goblins were tough, guys. These were like really tough goblins. Hmm, death number two. Two down. 
really not much progress made. But that's the way it goes with some of these. It would not be an interesting game if the world wasn't a little bit dangerous. I mean, that was dangerous right there. Okay, so we gotta pay attention here. They threw something like a grenade at us. Did you guys see that? Whoa, whoa. We got oh, they killed him. Man, look at how fast they take my health down. I'm so used to hitting that middle button to use items. See, there's gotta be a way to quick do this. it again. Okay, I got one of them. Who is shooting me with? Oh no. I'm sorry guys, I keep hitting that button. It's gonna take me a while. So this is really gnarly because your health gets lower and lower each time. Man, what are my guys doing? Where are they at? Oh, he's almost dead. That's what he's doing. Okay, we gotta hit and run here. Just gotta hit and run. Run away. No. No. Okay. Where's the other one at? Oh my god. The Lost Gauge. <clears throat> when you take damage, not only is your remaining health reduced, but the maximum health you can recover is reduced. The Lost Gauge represents this temporary reduction and is likely to accumulate if you do not rest between battles. Your maximum health will remain reduced even after the battle is over. You will be able, unable to recover it with the use of curative magic or items. The Lost Gauge can only be recovered by resting in an inn or campsite. Keep your party in fine fettle by resting after prolonged battles and consider a tactical retreat and your party's health is worn too low. That's crazy. Have my protection. <laughs> No, no, got me again, damn it. Get up. This guy's kicking me. They are kicking our ass, guys. I don't have hardly any other healing stuff. It's over. That's crazy. That's crazy. This first mob is gnarly. No, we don't want to do that. We're gonna load for the last save. We're right here. So we gotta keep going here. We gotta get leveled up. Pause of the kind-hearted inclination. Prefer to remain something or other. <clears throat> Just like the first game, those cutscenes go too fast for you to be able to read the load screens. Well, shoot. I mean, those goblins are right in our way. We have to go by them, through them. We gotta get around them. You, you seem the weak one. We'll take him out first. Damn it, get off me. Why is my health get just destroyed so fast? Okay, we already read about the Lost Gauge. Man. See, not being able to block or like have a shield? I don't know. I like fighting with a sword and shield. Because otherwise, you gotta do this. I'm just jumping around all the time. Get out of here. You fall off the cliff and die. Holy cow. This is gnarly. Damn, man. Come on. Come down here and fight. Come down on the ledge. Oh, knocked him off. Damn it. This is gnarly. 
Okay. No. No. <laughs> that magic's really cool. Look at it. Looks badass. What are you doing? You're still alive down there? Thought I killed you. Whoa! The hell? Where'd he even come from? Ah! 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 Did you see that? He threw him and kill him. Oh, that was crazy. That was really cool. You get out of here. Look at him. This is sick, guys. We 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 got this. We got this. Okay. So there. <clears throat> Wow, so I really underestimated the enemies in this game. They're burly. Like, even those goblins, that was a tough fight. Look at that. We had to lure them down this path, take them out one by one, knocked a bunch of them over the edge. He threw one to death. That guy, he just chopped them. Way to go, Muad'Dib. That was badass. So, I kind of think that we need to find a campsite. I know we just had one there, but... I don't want to go all the way back there and rest at that one. I wish we could just see another one here. Ooh, this sounds a little bit sketchy. I hear rocks crumbling and stuff. Let's stay out of there. Or is that the way we're supposed to go? No. That leads to something else. Like a dead end looks like a boss area. Oh, God, do I have anything that'll heal? Oh, Harvest Monk doesn't recover health in this. In the first one, it recovered health. Here, it just does stamina. Oops. Oh, this battery's dead. We gotta put the other battery in. Just a minute. Let that guy charge. We'll switch to this other guy, which I like him better anyways. It's smoother in my hand. Whoops. So, yeah, Harp Smite in the first one actually would give you health. This one, it just gives you stamina, it looks like. Okay, guys, <clears throat> we're in the first episode of the Let's Play right here. This is actually the third episode in their series. Thanks for watching. I'm Lucky. The channel's game on. We just keep on gaming on. We're going to continue on our quest to go see the village of Melv, where the dragon is supposed to have attacked. We'll see what that's all about in the next episode. Peace.